Hello people, David here and welcome to BTECT. And I've got another comparison for you today. iPhone XS versus the OnePlus 6T. But this time I want to compare the screens. We've got two OLED displays here, but you can pick up the OnePlus 6T for considerably less than the iPhone XS. So you would expect the screen to be a fair bit better on the iPhone XS. Guys, really quickly before we start this video, I want to tell you about my new channel, BTECH Samples. It's where I'll be uploading all the footage that I get when I'm out doing my photo and video comparisons. Do me a favor and go over there and check it out. And it'd be great if you could hit the subscribe button, double tap notifications and smash the like button for me. Right, so let's go over the specs. iPhone XS has a Super AMOLED display with a screen resolution of 1125 by 2436 and a 19.5 by nine aspect ratio with a pixel density of 458 PPI. The screen that comes with the OnePlus 6T is an optic AMOLED display with 1080 by 2340 resolution and a 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio. Pixel density is down a bit on the iPhone XS with 402 PPI. To me, they're both very good displays and I love the edge to edge viewing experience that both of them bring. But I really enjoy watching content on the OnePlus just because of that tiny little dewdrop notch at the top. It really does make a difference to the viewing experience, especially if you want to go full screen. I do like the way the iPhone screen goes all the way to the bottom of the device. The OnePlus 6 still has a tiny little chin there. It's insignificant really, but it's not quite the same as the iPhone. So let's get down and start comparing these screens. And one thing I noticed almost straight away was that the screen protector that comes pre-installed with the OnePlus 6T is affecting the picture quite badly. The camera picks up these colored bands. You can't really see it with the naked eye, but I have been tempted to take off the screen protector because it is clearly affecting the viewing experience. I noticed this when I first got the OnePlus 6T in the studio for filming. Once I made the first video, I kind of wish I'd taken off the screen protector just to show off that screen a bit more. But anyway, this test kind of demands that I do. So let's take that thing off. That's much better. And I think you can tell that already it's made a difference. Before we go on, let me say a big thank you to Direct Mobile. Celebrating 24 years of award-winning customer service, they are a great place to go and get your new phone. Check in the video description below for a link to their deals or search directmobiles.co.uk. Okay, so I've uploaded two 4K video files directly to each phone, so they won't be streaming anything this time. And we'll see how they do. This is a short promotional video that I made a couple of years ago for a bespoke clothing company in London. Born in bed and bellum. Completely in the infancy. There's so much to learn. I'm a bouncer or door supervisor at night. This is what I've been doing to fulfill my dream. It's a blessing to work for Paul. It's very understanding, very patient, very strict at the same time. I think he's the right man. I'm looking forward to the day that I can cut and make a seat for my dad. And that's one of the most important things for me in, in my journey. My dad and my mum actually, they didn't really understand what I was doing. It was an unsure beginning. I was really chuffed at Christmas. My dad shook my hand and said, look, I'm proud of you. You can see the passion in me. And it meant a hell of a lot to me. I'm planning for around October, which is his birthday, to have a seat made for him. My name's Chucksy Stephen at eBay. I am the London Gent. Definitely more contrast with the OnePlus, but that banding across the screen is still there. It's not quite as pronounced as it was when the screen protector was fitted, but it's definitely still there and could be something to do with the frame rate that I was shooting at. But I tried all different frame rates and I couldn't really get rid of it. 
it's not something you can see with the naked eye, but I guess it just goes to show the quality of the iPhone screen. These are some music artworks, my own work again, and I can still see more contrast with the OnePlus. Considering there's such a disparity in the price, I am quite surprised by what I'm seeing. I know things like this are subjective, but personally, I prefer to watch content on the OnePlus 6T. If you're brave enough to take off that screen protector, then you'll get an even better viewing experience, but I wouldn't recommend it. Although that screen protector does hide the true beauty of this screen, it's not worth doing. Keep it protected. Okay, that's it from me. Thanks for watching my little screen comparison between the OnePlus 6T and the iPhone XS. Don't forget to subscribe, double click the notification bell and smash that like button for me. I'm David Wildman and this is BTEC.